Maria, who will be speaking about the generalized Montgomery coordinate, a new computational tool for isogeny based cryptography. Thank you for introducing me. Okay, uh, first I explain uh, uh, the main results of our study. Uh, first, we propose a new concept, the generous Montgomery coordinate, that unifies some special coordinates of FD curve used for isogeny based cryptography. Uh, for example, uh, X coordinate of Montgomery curve and X coordinate of Montgomery minus curve. W coordinate of Edwards curve, W coordinate of half curve, and omega coordinate of twisted Jacobi intersection curves. And next, uh, we constructed a uh, general computational formula, formulas using the general Montgomery coordinate. And uh, finally, uh, as application, we construct new formulas and coordinates. Okay, here are contents. And I, uh, first, I introduced uh, one coordinate type formulas. First, I define the FT curve. Uh, we call a pair of smooth algebraic curve E of genus one and its point o, OE and FT curve. And here are some examples of FT curves. A Montgomery curve is a curve defined by this equation and OE equals uh, zero, one, zero. And this is a Montgomery minus curve. And Edwards curve is curve different by this equation. And OE is equal to zero, one. And half curve is the different by this equation. And OE is uh, uh, zero. And uh, uh, an important property of the FD curve is uh, FD curve has a commutative group structure and its identity point is OE. And this image uh, represents uh, uh, this group operation for the uh, case of Montgomery curve. And this point P and Q, and we can uh, set the point, this point as P plus Q and then uh, set this point as a different P. And this operation becomes a, a commutative group operation. And next, I, I define isogeny. And isogeny is a subjective morphism between FD curves that is also group morphism. And this is isogeny, and uh, this is a very important concept for isogeny based cryptography. And in isogeny based cryptography, uh, there is a very important formula for computing isogenies. A uh, various formula is a formula, uh, it computes uh, from the subgroup G of E. And it outputs an FD curve E over G and an isogeny phi from E to E over G with its kernel equal to G. And in isogeny based cryptography, uh, we use these formulas and compute random many isogenies. And here are so, uh, important four computations for isogeny based cryptography. And first one is uh, addition, and second one is uh, doubling. And we can use, uh, we can construct the scalar multiplication by using these two formulas. And third one is a computation for image points. And last one is a computation for codomain curve E over G. So uh, this last two one is a various formulas. And any isogeny based curve system use these four computations. So uh, it is important task to uh, make these computation efficiently. And in isogeny based cryptography, uh, we use one coordinate type formulas. And there are some one coordinate type uh, formulas are known. The most basic one is a uh, uh, formula using X coordinate of Montgomery curves. And this is, uh, this is Montgomery curve. And the first uh, formula is the pseudo addition. Uh, by using this uh, formula uh, equation, we can compute the X coordinate of P plus Q from uh, X coordinate of P and X coordinate Q and X coordinate of P minus Q. And second one is a pseudo doubling. And we can compute the X coordinate of uh, doubling P from X coordinate P and alpha. Alpha is a, a coefficient of Montgomery curve. And we call this coefficient Montgomery coefficient. And by using these two formulas, we can compute the scalar uh, multiplication. And next, this is a uh, uh, formulas for computing isogenies. And the first one is a uh, uh, formulas for image point. And we can compute the X coordinate of pi P from uh, X coordinate P and X coordinate of points in the kernel. And the second one is a uh, uh, formulas for codomain curve. The, uh, the target of this uh, formulas is the uh, Montgomery coefficient of E over G. And it, we can compute uh, the Montgomery coefficient of E over G from the uh, Montgomery coefficient of E and the 
x coordinates of points in the kernels. Uh, so we can compute uh, all four formulas by using x coordinate of Montgomery curves. And second basic one is uh, uh, w coordinate of Edwards curve. And Edwards curve is uh, this uh, curve. And the w coordinate is defined by uh, d x squared y squared. Here d is a uh, quotient of Edwards curve and we call this quotient Edwards quotient. And similarly, uh, by using uh, w coordinate, we can co compute the so the addition. So we can compute w coordinate of p plus q from uh, w coordinate of p and w coordinate of q and w coordinate of p minus q. And similarly, uh, we can compute uh, w coordinate of p from uh, w p and Edward coefficient p. And here also the uh, formulas for uh, computing isogenies. And we can compute uh, w coordinate of phi p from the w p and uh, the w coordinate of uh, points in the kernels. And we, we can also compute the uh, formula for column curve. And the target of this formula is uh, uh, Edward's coefficient of E over G. So uh, you may know uh, these two uh, cases are very, they, these have the very similar formulas. The uh, last one, uh, the formulas for Kodomin curve is uh, totally different, but the uh, addition, the suit doubling and image points are, are looks very similar. And this is not only for the uh, Montgomery curve and for Edwards curve. It also uh, occurs for the uh, W coordinate of the half curve and uh, those on the X coordinate of Montgomery curves. And I didn't uh, write it, but uh, uh, omega coordinate of uh, twisted Yakov intersection curves also a similar coordinate. Uh, so there is uh, one question arise. Uh, is there any way to unify uh, these formulas? And in classical, uh, there is a famous theory, uh, the theory Kuma line. This is a, a theory for one coordinate type formula. And in this theory, uh, by using uh, data functions, we can construct some one coordinate type formula. And by using this theory, uh, for the scale of multiplication, we can construct the explicit formulas. So uh, by using data functions, uh, we can unify the two of four formulas uh, in the previous slide. And for isogeny computation, uh, there are some studies and there are some algorithms, uh, but these algorithms are a little bit complicated and these algorithms are target for not empty curve. These are target, target in uh, the, uh, uh, sorry, uh, a very varieties of higher genus. Uh, so uh, it, it, it seems hard to adapt, uh, use unifying the all four formulas. So we think uh, we need another approach to unify these four formulas. So we are going to the uh, generalized memory coordinate. Uh, before defining general memory coordinate, uh, I, I explained about the device of the function. Uh, for a function f of curve c, we call the following divisor, a divisor of a function. Then here's a very important uh, property for divisor function, for function e and g. If uh, these divisors are equals, uh, then uh, there's a constant value c and f equals c times g. And then now uh, we have the uh, definition of general Montgomery coordinate. Uh, for an empty curve E and its subgroup G and the point R in uh, this set and define function HG R0 as uh, satisfying this uh, property. And we call this function a general Montgomery coordinate of E. The next I explain uh, some important properties of this function. Uh, first, uh, this seven holds. Uh, if we compute the uh, uh, h g r zero p plus r zero, it is equal to the she over h g r zero p for uh, non-zero constant c. Uh, we can prove this uh, very easily uh, by uh, considering the divisor of the left-hand side of this equation, and consider the right the divisor of the right hand of this equation. Then we know that these uh, divisors are same. So uh, there is a constant value C uh, satisfying this equation. 
then uh, by using this term, uh, we can define the uh, normalized genus among recognate. Uh, if the uh, constant value is equals one, we call this genus among recognate a uh, normalized genus among recognate. Then here are uh, some example of normalized genus among recognate. So for uh, Mongri curve, the x coordinate is the uh, normal genus among Mongri coordinate. Uh, R0 equals uh, zero, 0, the set of zero, 0, and G is the trivial group. And for Mongri minus curve, uh, normal genus among Mongri coordinate is uh, uh, the square root minus 1 x is a uh, normal genus among Mongri coordinate. And for Edward's curve, uh, the inverse, it's mean the uh, 1 over W is a normal genus among Mongri coordinate. The R0 is a point at infinity, and the G is a cyclic group of order four. And for half curve, uh, W coordinate is the normal genus among the coordinate, and R0 is a set of a point at infinity, and G is a, uh, the trivial group. So uh, later, I explained the uh, generalized formula from the genus uh, among the coordinate. So this is the reason why these coordinates have the similar one coordinate type formulas. Uh, it is because they are correspond to the normalized genus among coordinate. Then uh, next, I explain the, another aspect of the normalized genus among coordinate. A normalized genus among coordinate H uh, G R zero can be represented by the composition of x coordinate among curve E over G and an isogeny by E to E over G. Okay, and these are the, some properties of a uh, genus among coordinate. And next, I explain the uh, general formulas of the genus Montgomery coordinate. And the first formula is the pseudo addition. And for any normal genus Montgomery coordinate, it holds that this uh, equation. And, and it is also can be easy uh, prove by the comparing the, the left side of the divisor and the right side of the divisor. And then these uh, divisors are equals. So uh, there is a, a non constant value C and by substituting some good points to E, B, and Q, and we find the constant value is equal to one. And next, uh, there's a formula for pseudo doubling. And here, uh, I denote the new concept uh, alpha H, G, R, zero. And this is a constant value easily computed from the genus among coordinate H, G, R, zero. And we call this alpha uh, genus among coefficient. So uh, also, uh, so the ring also for, hold for uh, any normal genus among read coordinate. And third one, the, the formulas for image point. Uh, we uh, for an isogeny by satisfying the, uh, this property. And, it, and then there is a normal genus among coordinate H phi G phi R zero. And it holds that this equation. And this is the formulas for image point. Then here is the uh, last formula, right? the formula is for computing Colomain curves. The target of this formula is a uh, uh, general, generalized Montgomery coefficient of H by G and phi I zero. And we can compute, easily compute this coefficient because uh, this is easily computed by the general Montgomery coordinate H by G phi I zero. So uh, we can uh, construct the formulas for Colombian MC curve. And actually, uh, this formula can be represented as a relation function of alpha and of HP. Here, P is the uh, uh, points in the kernels. But this is uh, one problem. Uh, this formula is uh, not a function of P. So we cannot use in the discussion of divisor. And these formulas are not unique. The, in fact, the formula for uh, uh, X coordinate among the curves and the formulas on the W coordinate Edwards curves are totally different. So there is another question arise. Uh, how do we const construct the uh, other formulas? The key is the uh, uh, division polynomial. Uh, here's one proportion and then there's a possible number. And then there's a polynomial of psi p and phi p with the integer coefficient and uh, satisfying uh, these three properties. And we call uh, the polynomial uh, psi m as a uh, m division polynomial of generous Montgomery coordinate. And by defining this uh, concept, we have the next theorem. 
And if there is a uh, two different formula for computing cooling curves, the difference of these formula uh, can be represented by the uh, psi L times some rational function. Uh, so uh, we can theoretically construct uh, any formulas by using this seven. Okay, and then finally I explain the application. Uh, first application is uh, uh, to construct new formulas. Uh, the from the theory of general Mongol coordinates, uh, formulas of X coordinate Mongol curves and those on W coordinates Edwards curve are totally same. Uh, so we can uh, transform an efficient formula at curve to uh, uh, tractable a Mongol curve. And this is a new formula, so Mongol curve, uh, the uh, formulas for computing uh, Kolomin curve. And here's the experimental result. And we use the SBC library. And the, the, the in image of the uh, horizontal is a, a degree of isogeny. And the vertical is the ratio of the uh, previous formula, the cost of previous formula and the new formula. And under this red line is the uh, part of the, uh, our new formulas are more efficient than the previous one. So uh, the, at most uh, uh, the, about the 5% more efficient than the uh, previous one. And there's a final application. Uh, we construct a new coordinate among my minus curve, and it is a, a generalized Mongolian coordinate. And by using uh, this coordinate, uh, we can use uh, efficient formulas for the uh, general, efficient formulas of generalized Mongolian coordinate. So uh, some isomorphic schemes using Montgomery, Montgomery minus curve, for example, CSAF, are ex expected more efficient. Okay, uh, my presentation is over. Thank you for listening. All right, thank you for the nice talk. Are there questions for the speaker? Okay. Here, let me bring you one. That one, yeah. Uh, so it it seems like like a problem with um, like one coordinate representations is that you can't distinguish a point and its inverse. Are there any like it seems like you've showed that all of those representations would have that problem, right? Are there any like one coordinate representations where you can distinguish a point from its inverse? Uh, sorry, uh, uh, you mean that is there any? Uh, one coordinate formulas that we can uh, uh, exper experiment the general Mongol coordinate. It, sorry, I I I I I'm sorry. I not I I can I didn't catch your question. Uh, like uh, so if you if you're only taking the x coordinate on a say on a on the Montgomery curve, right? You can't distinguish. Now you don't know whether you have like p or minus p, right? So are there any are there any like one coordinate representations where you could do that, or is it, have you proved that is impossible? Or like, yeah, I guess that's uh, my question. Your question is: Is there any other uh, representation for one coordinate type formulas? You, you mean? Yeah, where you, where you don't have that problem. Uh, the answer is we don't know, but uh, this is one of the future work uh, for. Is there a research, oh, sorry, research uh, any other uh, representation for uh, one coordinate type formulas? Okay. Thank you. All right, do we have some other questions? Okay, let me ask if there's any questions coming from Zoom. So I have one question actually. Um, can you go to the slide with the graph? Is it one? Yeah, I'm curious. Um, uh, I mean, it seems like there's a sort of infinite search space of possible um, uh, uh, possible formulas that you look like. You start with one formula and you can modify it, right? So how did you how did you search through this space? Uh, okay, and, uh, I searched by that. This is a, a previous my work, and uh, it is already known that uh, using Edwards curve we can compute. Uh, efficiently, but Edwards curve is not so tractable. So, uh, but by using this theorem, we can use the Edwards curve, uh, the formula of Edwards curve, 
to that of the Mongolian curve because these formulas are same. So uh, the so the how do we search for a more efficient one is the uh, sorry I don't know but uh, how do we find this formula is the uh, the answer is that uh, it is already known for the uh, Edward the serial Edwards curve. But then on the on the next slide where you have yeah. the graph. How did you find, do you know that those blue points are like the best that you can do? For uh, this is the, uh, this is a parameter for the SIBC library and we can check this many primes, uh, the many degree primes and, uh, and com we can compute the cost by using SIBC library. So uh, I uh, it, it is a prime of the SIBC library. All right, thank you. Any other questions? Okay, let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.